Liverpool have this morning announced their latest financial reports up until May 2020 as the impact of the Covid pandemic begins to become clear. The figures go up to what was the scheduled end of their Premier League title winning campaign, so this season is not covered. The pandemic only accounts for two and a half months here, and there will have been another 12 months or so to factor in with Covid in the next accounts to be revealed this time next year. The Reds have revealed that media revenue is down by 59 million to 202 million. That's because there were competitive league matches played outside of the accounting period last year. Matchday revenue is down by 13 million to 71 million. That's because there were four fewer Premier League home games in this period, and Liverpool lose out on around £3 million per game with no fans inside Anfield. That means that next year's accounts, when this season with almost no fans for the entirety is accounted for, will look markedly worse than this. Extrapolating today's results, in fact, to take in next year's accounts, including almost a full season of behind closed doors football, and the pandemic could well end up costing Liverpool in excess of £120 million. One positive is that commercial revenue was up by £29 million to £217 million. That's because the club had eight new partners in the period covered by the accounts, as well as the likes of Nivea and Carlsberg renewing their deals. All that totals up to overall revenue being down by 43 million to 490 million, while Liverpool's pre tax loss was 46 million. This time last year, it was 533 million in revenue and 42 million in profit. These figures will not be a huge shock though and were expected. Similar will be seen at every club in the country after a difficult 12 months, and so Liverpool are not alone, and FSG knew this was coming. They reacted to the news last month with the announcement of their investment from Redbird and Jerry Cardinal, with that deal they say being able to counteract Covid and allow Liverpool to continue to operate at pre-pandemic levels. We'll have all of the analysis on what this means moving forward over on the Liverpool Echo website, while we've a podcast with our business of football writer Dave Powell to explain it all, coming up right here on the Blood Red channel very shortly.